Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel. Many thanks for your lovely support so far. We do hope that the same trend will continue ensuing episodes to come. This aerial layout what you are witnessing was presented by Dr. S. Sethu. The detailed video of aerial layout you can get in our YouTube channel. Here he has given us a beautiful aerial rectangle. This is what we want to lay out a 400 meter standard track. With these four points we are entering into the next segment. Here you are witnessing the World Athletics 400m standard track marking plan 2019. Based on this marking plan, we are explaining the 400m standard track marking procedures in this video. The 400m standard track marking has been divided into four stages. This is stage 1. These four points taken from our aerial marking layout. Now we have to connect these points to draw a vertical straight line. Then measure the distance between these points and find out the midpoint. To lay out a 400 meter standard track, the record breadth is 94.52 meters. Here easy to understand I took 100 meters, 100 divided by 2, 50 meters. These are the 50 meters point. Now connect these points, this line separate the truck horizontally. Already we knew that the required length is 178.91 meters. Here easy to understand I took 180 meters, 180 divided by 2, 90 meters. This is the midpoint to entire track. From the midpoint measure 42.195 meter on either side of the track horizontal divide line. This is midpoint M1 or center point C1 and this is midpoint 2 M2 or center point 2 C2. We have to fix the nails here. The diameter of the nail is 12 mm as per the world athletic suggestion. This is the optimum straight 84.39 meters to lay out your 400 meter standard track. This is the supportive document from World Athletics Track and Field Facilities Manual regarding midpoint nail bolt diameter 12 mm approximately. Now we are moving to the track marking stage 2. This is track horizontal divide line. The distance between midpoint 1 M1 and midpoint 2 M2 is 84.39 meters. In the year 1995, the World Athletics first time introduced in its track and field facilities manual 84.39 meters as straight to lay out a 400 meter standard track. Most importantly, it is recommended by the World Athletics in the year 2019 that all future tracks are constructed with a 36.50 meter bend radius will be referred to as the 400 meter standard track. We have to mark a KLR curve line radius 36.50 meter arc upward from track horizontal divide line midpoint 1. Then 91.945 meters diagonally from M2. Spot the point where the two arcs connects. Here the 91.945 meter hypotenuse we got by using the Pythagoras theorem formula. This is Pythagoras theorem. Again mark 46.26 meter on arc that includes KLR 36.50 meters plus 8 lanes with 9.76 meters from M1. Then mark 96.23 meters on arc diagonally from M2. Spot the point where the two arcs connects. 
the same marking has to be done downward from the track horizontal divide line m1 now we have to mark the same from m2 and m1 as what we did earlier Now we are in stage 3, connect the 5 points of either side. Now we have got here semi-skeleton of 400 meter track, straight 84.39 meters, KLR or CLR 36.50 meters, KLR plus 8 lanes with 9.76 is equal to 46.26 meters. Now we have to mark 36.50 meters arc downward or upward from M1 or M2 of a track horizontal divide line. Here we have started downward first. Then mark 36.50 meters plus 1.22 meters from M1 only. Should not mark 1.22 meters separately. See carefully how it is measured. The same method of marking has to be carried out for all lanes. Then mark upward from M1 as what we did for downward. Now the same method of marking has to be done from M2 as what we did from M1. We are entering into the stage 4. This is the correct way of manual marking. We have to mark 4 quarter circle bend 1 by 1. Should not mark semicircle bend. Now it is time for connecting the dit and dots of each quarter circle bend. See how it is connected. This is the correct way of marking. Now it's a time for strides. This is the correct marking procedure on synthetic surface. We have to mark each quarter circle bend one by one. Then we have to go for stride. Thanks to the effort initiated by Dr. S. Sethu, we are going to lay out a 9 lane 400 meter oval track now. First quarter circle bend, second quarter circle bend, third quarter circle bend and fourth quarter circle bend. Back stride and home stride. 110 meters extension. Lay numbers behind the 110 meter start point, 100 meter start point, lines 1 meter before the finish line, lay numbers at finish line and fantastic green in field. Don't think that we have completed the track marking, still one most important steps to go. The 28 point control measurement should be carried out and the readings recorded. This is prerequisite distance from the center of the semicircles CB 84.39 meters plus or minus 0 0.05 meters. Measurement 1 to 12 and 14 to 25, 36.50 meters respectively plus or minus 0 0.005 meters. 
measurement between these points 10.42 meters approximately measurement 13 and 26 84.39 meters respectively plus or minus 0.005 meters measurement 27 and 28 alignment of the strides and the track length calculated after equalization may not be less than 400.000 meters or more than 400.040 meters